Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Black History Month, so I thought it would be a really good opportunity to celebrate the contributions of black players to the game. So today we're going to explore the most influential black players in English football. Now this list is going to range from progenitors of tactics to figures that have change the reception of players to their audience and it's in no particular order so without further ado let's jump straight into it so my first pick is Justin Fashion New and if you've never heard of him it's time to do his name some justice he really was a true beacon of being unapologetically yourself Fashion New was actually the first ever male professional English footballer to come out as gay whilst still an active player now given the state of LGBT acceptance in 1990, it was a truly monumental step for people to realise that players from all walks of life could be found in English football. In my opinion, his influence doesn't just stop there. Fashion New was also the first black footballer to be traded with a £1 million transfer fee. Now, this actually happened during his move from Norwich and he was heading to a Nottingham Forest back in 1981. With such an illustrious reputation, Fashion New's story was truly unique. His childhood was spent in foster care alongside his brother John, also a footballer you might be familiar with. So Justin progressed up through the ranks of Norwich City, just cementing his status as quite the club legend, and it was largely thanks to his performance in the 1980 season. He earned some much needed recognition, and he was monumentalised actually in the National Football Museum Hall of Fame in 2020. If you do want to learn more about Justin Fashion New, his story is also presented in a Netflix documentary from uh, 2017. It was called The Forbidden Games, the Justin Fashion News Story. Definitely well worth a watch. I recommend that. The second player I'm going to talk about is Andrew Watson. Perhaps a name you might have never heard of, I guess, depending on your age. I actually feel that Andrew Watson is arguably the most influential player on this list. Why? Well, Let's get into it. So Watson was a Scottish footballer actually, and he made his mark on English football by essentially pioneering an integral part of what makes football so enjoyable. I feel like he's the person to thank for passing the ball, being part of modern day football. In 1881, Scotland washed England with a 6-1 victory, with Watson representing Scotland as their first black international player. Now, after another victory against England, the English Football Association decided that things needed to change and they actually relied on Watson to introduce them to the Scottish style of football with a new team, Corinthian FC. So thanks to Watson, that dynamic passing style found in modern football, it gained prevalence as a norm in the sport because of him. Next up, a more familiar name for most of you, I'm sure, Didier Drogba. He's a household name for all the good reasons. Supremely talented. Drogba was a force to be reckoned with in the Premier League, no doubt about it. He played a really important role in leading Chelsea as the club's top foreign goal scorer with 164 goals. He's a renowned club legend for sure, and I feel Chelsea actually owe a good chunk of their current success to Drogba's contributions. In tandem, the amount of fanfare and entertainment generated worldwide from his appearances off the pitch, they're undeniable. And I think beyond his achievements in football, Drogba has also made really great contributions towards the development of his home nation, the Ivory Coast. And I feel that English football has him to thank for that realization that games can be played with a single striker. And Michael Owen, he even attested to this in an interview with 442. He spoke about it and he said how Drogba's presence just changed the mentality managers had towards the team formations. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about Viv Anderson incredibly deserving of a place on this list. In my opinion, Viv Anderson is actually the most influential black player in English football. He was the first black player on England's national team and he was a really gifted defender. His footballing journey it actually began at Nottingham Forest in 1974 and he was a key part of a hugely successful squad there. So it was in 1978 when he made his debut in England senior team against Czechoslovakia. Now this was a huge defining milestone for or English football and even though it was a celebratory moment of course there was a huge presence of hateful racism being displayed by the fans towards him 
I do think that Anderson displayed a respectable level of class and, you know, he proved the naysayers wrong through his performances on the pitch. Eventually, he actually won the European Cup and he also won the European Super Cup in 1979. Later on, he was inducted in the English Football Hall of Fame. Okay, you've made it to the end of the list. Well, here's my final pick for the five black players that changed English football. Jose Andrade. Now, I'm kind of bending the narrative here because, okay, Andrade didn't technically play in England, but he brought something really special to the game, and honestly, I think he's really deserving of a mention. So here's his story. Andrade played in the Olympic Games for Uruguay, and he was able to work wonders for them in the 1924 World Cup. Now, obviously, when speaking of World Cup icons from South America, you would obviously expect Pele or Diego Maradona to be talked about, but we're going back to a time of no TV coverage. So I do think that Andrade's achievements are just even more deserving of a discussion. Anyways, back to the World Cup in 1924. So Uruguay was the spotlight of that tournament and Andrade's prowess, it played a huge part in that. Even at 22 years old, I believe he showed a level of play that was centered on strength and composure. And he played with a really strong level of elegance that just gave the Uruguayan squad huge amounts of confidence to win games. And reviewing these classic games, it was super interesting to just learn about that electrifying style of football that Andrade was able to showcase. According to Richard Hoffman, a German international, he described Andrade as a tall guy with elastic movements who always preferred the direct, elegant game without physical contact and was always ahead with his thoughts by several moves. Well, you don't get the nickname of the first Pele without doing something pretty special in the world of football. Well, there you have it, five black players who've changed English football. Now, these players, they broke barriers and they played a huge part in football history. And I think it's really important their stories are still talked about to this day. So I do hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Which players would you add to the list? Do comment below and do let me know. I'm releasing more videos for this Black History Month series, so subscribe and make sure you don't miss them. This series is brought to you by Kitbag, so do check out their stuff on the link below and you can use the code I've left there for a discount when shopping. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.